Hello, welcome. My name is Peter Taksu Jensen. I'm the Danish ambassador to Japan. Welcome to our residence here. Welcome to a Christmas celebration here. I would like to introduce my wife, Gide. I want to say that we're very happy to welcome you into our home for a traditional Christmas dinner. And I would also like to give you a little bit of an, an impression of how we decorate for Christmas here. We have a Christmas tree. This is very traditional in Denmark that you have a Christmas tree uh, as part of your celebration for Christmas. When it becomes Christmas Eve, you would put all the presents for the kids and others underneath the tree. We also here have on the top of a beautiful Danish designed table an Advents uh, wrath, which is also very traditional. As, as you can see, there's uh, real life uh, candles uh, there. And I would like to introduce now my chef, uh, Sampat, uh, who's coming here. Hello. Welcome to the Denmark Embassy. My name is Sampat. I work as a chef for the embassy. Today I'm going to make uh, one of the traditional dishes from the Denmark. It's called fliskestai. Uh, we can say like roast pork with the skin, crispy skin. And uh, here today I'm using uh, with the with the skin and with the bones. You can see here bone. Without bones and without skin also you can make it, but you will not get the crispy skin if you not use the this kind of skin. So for this one we are using just very few ingredients like uh, fresh bay leaves, cloves and the uh, molten salt or pepper. Now I'm going to uh, prepare my uh, pork with the skin. So this is the very important part when you cut the pork. Uh, here you can see I cut already until here. Not until the meat, just only skin. Just only skin like this. If you cut until the meat, meat when the you when you bake it it will get uh, dry the meat and uh, now i'm going to uh, marinate it, the pork just put the salt between the, the cutting line like this and then some pepper Then nicely massage. And between the cutting edge, you can put some cloves here, like this. And the values between the cutting line. And now I'm going to put to the oven like 200 degree one hour and like 15 minutes it's depend on the size of the pork and internal temperature should be like uh, around 58 degree 
if you don't have thermometer in your oven you can check every after 30 minutes Done. And after that, we will cover by the aluminium foil and rest some uh, like 10 15 minutes. After that, we can cover the pork. Thank you so much. You're yeah. welcome. Thank you. That's very good. Mm -hmm. This is a, a roast pork with uh, brown potatoes and red cabbage. It's served on a Royal Copenhagen plate. Roasted pork, like served uh, here today, is something that many Danish families, or almost all Danish families, will have for their Christmas Eve. We celebrate Christmas uh, the Eve on the 24th. This is a time where you get your family together. Ida and I are here. We didn't have our family because they're back in Denmark and couldn't travel because of COVID-19. But normally you would have your family gathering around the table and have what we in Denmark call hygge, uh, a very cozy uh, evening where you are together with family or friends. Uh, you have candle, candle lights uh, on the table. You have uh, your house decorated with a Christmas tree. Um, and an important part of making it really hygge is to have candle lights. These candle lights are on an advent uh, wreath, but um, you could either just have some standing on the side if you prefer that. Um, and then it's about having this good um, atmosphere, a warm atmosphere where the lights are helping, the colors might help, and you're having a good time with your family or friends. A roast pork like this is uh, could be a very good uh, ingredient if you want to try to bring Hygge to your home. I know, and I know that you've seen some that cooking it. It's not the easiest thing to cook, but if you follow the recipe, it's actually manageable. I can do it myself, so you should be able to do it too. Please try it. It's really nice, and Hygge is just a fantastic concept.